Okay, Emily, after 2009 and three years of waiting, how does it feel to finally come to, to the launch of the, the whole waiting project? I think it's a mixture of feelings. Um, well, it was, uh, this morning I was feeling very excited. Uh, and as I was putting up the exhibition as well, I was uh, very happy um, that, you know, finally it's done. And uh, at the same time, I was also very nervous for the performance. Um, and I think also a sense of relief that finally it's done. And um, yeah, so uh, I think it's, it's a combination of feelings. That, but to me, waiting is a process. Um, it's not the end of things. Uh, I would say it's, uh, uh, we wait uh, all our lives. And um, I'm just glad that um, I'm engaging a little bit of more um, active waiting rather than passive waiting. At least I do enjoy the process of waiting now. Yeah. Okay. How did this whole project come about? Uh, well, as you can see, as I explained earlier, it begins with a song and then uh, later it developed into a photo audio drama series. And uh, I thought that to put photo and audio together would leave um, the viewer with uh, more room for imagination so it's more fun that way. At the same time, I also work with a, a great community of uh, photographers um, and um, I love the way they, they did the photography and the photo editing, the brilliant colours. Yeah. So um, I, was, I did the video editing myself, so although I, had, I spent weeks and months looking at the same photos again, but um, I, I didn't get, at least I didn't get sick of them because they were very nice photos. The whole history, yeah, maybe tell me about the whole history of this project. Well, the whole history actually became, uh, be began uh, when I was writing the song Waiting. And why I wrote the song was because, um, well, actually I really hate waiting myself. And I hated it so much I even wrote a song about it. Um, and in my mind, when I was writing the song, I had images of, in my head. Um, and it was um, images of different people waiting for different things. Yeah, so I thought, um, uh, about it and uh, eventually it became uh, to a point where I thought mm, why not we make it a story you know like a series so uh, and it became a 10 episode um, drama series in the end yeah and it was uh, I wanted to make it like an audio drama at first so and then later a friend again gave me an advice saying that you know you should put images to it because uh, they will have that kind of impact and that's why I decided um, to put photo and audio together yeah, and it, I think it would be the very first photo Chinese photo audio mini series in the world. I, I would think. Yeah, so I'm very happy to do something that is um, different, and at the same time, um, do it for a good cause. Yeah. And go. So what's next for you? What's next? Uh, uh, actually, um, somebody asked me before what was my vision. So uh, my vision was um, well, pretty simple. Um, I hope to make a difference, um, uh, not only through my work uh, with the Red Cross, but um, also through my music. I hope to be able to influence people in that way. Mm. And um, I will use, well, well, use whatever resources I have um, you know, to uh, create music and, uh, put, uh, and not just look at music uh, on its own, but combine it with um, uh, many other things like in this case for the waiting project it was photo and audio together and um, and you know uh, just uh, put something um, together um, such that music is not just um, a CD on a shelf but uh, it can be uh, much more where you know that's how it all started because the song uh, came up first and then it became a photo audio Mini series. Then it became an exhibition. Then it became a fundraising community project. So uh, I, I will still start for music. Um, yeah, uh, it was, um, yeah uh, I love music and I love writing. Uh, but I don't want to just end with music. Uh, I will hope to make it uh, much more than that. So, what's next for the waiting project? Uh, for the waiting project, uh, we're hoping that uh, we can um, uh, ex extend the, the exhibition to other places. So yeah, so currently we're looking for um, other venues that we could uh, put the exhibition at. Yeah. And we also hope to have more screenings so that more people can come and watch um, and also purchase the DVD. Yeah. Okay.